your monk's cloth onto your frame, you are going to start at the top. You will just pull it over and staple. And then you will pull this super, super tight, the exact opposite on the bottom. You pull it super, super tight, and then you'll staple here. And then you'll go to the right, pull it tight, staple here, and then you will go to the left and pull it super, super tight and staple there. Staple there and pull this super tight. move to the right and kind of position it. The first one you'll just kind of pull, do it. For this one I just kind of pulled it so it would be a little bit even and then you can't it's really hard to pull it tight so then and then I just held it and stapled it. But then when you go to the opposite side on the left you can really pull it then to make it super tight. And this is, the tighter you get it now, the better. So you can pull it tight and insert it. Through. From here I would go and do the middle portion here. I would do here and then the opposite. And then I would go here and do the opposite. And then I'll go here and do the opposite. And then here and do the opposite. So you will just kind of pull both so they're kind of even to get the first staple in on the one side. And then pull it really tight on this side. And then pull them both to kind of get them even. Staple this halfway in between. And then pull this side super tight on this side. And I will go up here, pull it tight. Now you'll be able to pull it a little bit more because of the staples on this side. So pull it tight. And then pull it tight on the bottom. And pull it tight on the bottom. Come to the top, pull it tight. And staple. Put it at the bottom, opposite side, in the middle, and staple here. Pull it up and tight, and insert staple. And then from here, we'll do it up here until we're all the way around. So for this one, I'm going to fold it over this way so it's kind of flat and tight. And then I'll pull this over and fold it. And then I will pull this one over and fold it again. Sometimes I get an extra crease in there, which is fine. As long as it's holding the fabric, it doesn't matter. And then I do do extra staples here. Misfire, extra staples to make sure that it really stays. And that is a corner. Close to the edge so you can work. Um, this is kind of personal preference how close you want to get it. It will kind of fray as you work, but not too much. So you can trim off quite a bit. So I usually trim just kind of at the, the corner, at the edge of your wood. corner you just hunk it all off. Don't be shy. Just cut all the way around. <laughs>